Okay, so you shouldn't feel anything other than us touching you, okay? I'm gonna do it very lightly. You okay? Mm -hmm. Just real lightly, because I know this is pretty superficial here. Sometimes they get us, so. And you guys got on splash screens, okay, good. Got on, okay, you're okay now. You're behind the camera. Because you. <laughs> What? I wasn't doing anything I'm at that. Don't <laughs> joke like that. Oh, you were faking me out because I knew I didn't do anything. Remember, you know what? I, I, the, one of the biggest stories I tell my kids, I tell them the story about the boy who cried I, wolf. I heard that story a lot when I was a kid. Uh -huh, you're, you don't want to do that. Well, let's try to scare us when we're holding things sharp above you. How long have you had this little friend of yours? Again, you said. Six years. Yeah, it's just slowly growing, huh? Mm -hmm. He almost took to it himself. He said he had some lidocaine, and he had some, uh, he had like some needles and stuff. He had like the, the, the whole syringe thing. Who gave it? you all that? That's not going to be told. Oh, okay. I'll put that on there. I wasn't trying to get you in trouble, <laughs> in trouble or anything. We're squeezing out all those, the cyst particles that I can show you later. You're doing just fine, right? Mm -hmm. Just squeeze it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put some numbing under there. I'm gonna pull this gauze away from your eye again and put a new fresh one there. Keep your eyes closed. So I kind of squeezed the most of the contents out of the sack, and now I just need to numb up underneath now, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm putting a little more numbing there. It's hard to tell if you're numbing into the sack or under the, under the skin, so I'm just gonna do a little bit here first and then squeeze it again a little bit. Have you seen the sh TV show even? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are some big ones. Mm -hmm. You know we handled some ones that are mm -hmm. a lot bigger than this. I saw one girl had something on her head. That, mm -hmm. I mean, like it was so big it moved her hair. Yeah, you can move your hair in those kind of things for sure. Just make sure nothing's ever hurting you. Just trying to jump me. You might feel me tugging on you, but again, nothing sharp. It's just because I gotta move that little sack that's in it. It's in, okay? Mm -hmm. I see you've calmed down a lot. Not that you were really not calm before, mm -hmm. but now you know this is the worst of it. So, mm -hmm. just fine. Okay. I mean, this must have really like affected your like day to day life, though. I mean, you can't hide it. You can't wear a hat <laughs> and hide it like something on the head. Right, huh? no. Do you have a job that makes you have to talk to people a lot and face-to-face? I sell -face? cars. Oh, I, I custom order them for clients. So. God, so you could do it over the phone sometimes? With yeah, them. I mean, I still, I you, got, but they, you have to meet them to have them trust you enough to buy them a car right, without them right. ever seeing it. Right, right. Well, I get a percentage of any of those new sales. <laughs> Just tugging on you here again. Let me know if anything's sharp. You okay? Mm, that's a little sharp. Okay. Well, you tell me. You just moved. You didn't tell me. <laughs> I'm going to be feisty with him because he was feisty with me. <laughs> numbing here, okay? That's numbing. I try to take out the sack. This whole... Sorry, numbing. That's numbing. Sorry, dear. He doesn't like me numbing. I know that already when I numbed him the first time. <laughs> he does not like it. You can feel the sensation of me pulling up on you. That's fine. And, yeah, I just, I just wanted to let you know that. Yeah, I'm sure. But, you know, obviously, if you feel sharpness, you tell me. Great. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you grow up in Esk in your area? Um, I yeah. grew up in Northern California and oh, then I okay. moved down here when I joined the Marines. Okay. One more numbing there just on the end. I think we almost have the whole thing off. so slightly so I have some traction in case I don't know. Go just like that. And make sure you dab that if it wants to drip. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I almost, I almost have the whole thing off dead there. So just, just a little quicker. So I ask people if they want me to put anything else in there. <laughs> in the meantime, no? Do you want me to store anything there? <laughs> no, I'm sure you wouldn't want anything like that here. I'm just going to push around just to kind of take a look. I always like to take a second and third look just to make sure there's nothing. I'm sorry, I'm pushed on you. Mm. I'm pushing against you. Is it, did that hurt a lot? Mm, not too bad. Push because I just want to um, see if there's any cyst sack there left still. So I'm just leaning against you here. Is that hurting you? Because I can put numbing right there. Okay. okay. Just I think the idea of me pushing against you, you didn't like. Just looking all on the underside and double checking to make sure it looks like I got it all. I need you to help me to pull that back here so I can see. I'm sorry, that's me just jabbing you. I'm sorry, did that pinch okay. a lot? It's fine. Or what, what was that? Just, did just, it just took you by it. surprise or did yeah. it hurt? No, it's fine. on the surface here. Get a little thing, get a little wet, wet towel to pinch your sorry on the surface here. It's fine. I just think I agree with you now when I took that off. I do think that there's a little bit of extra skin. So I might just take off a little bit here just to lay this flatter here. Why don't you stop that for a moment and it just wind up that before. Okay. I'm gonna kind of try to take some of this extra skin that he has here.
I'll explain this to you. It's hard to, um, you may sometimes wonder why I don't take more, like, like what, if, if there's a little bit of looseness. I actually think there's not going to be. I think it's just loose now because, looser now because it's just been stretched and there's numbing under there. But there's a reason why I'm, make sure I'm not hurting you. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why I'm not going to do that, take a lot, because I do really think that this is going to stretch down to a large degree. It's going to come back down and become flat. And I feel like uh, that, that definitely by, by taking more skin, it's going to leave with a longer scar. So I'm trying to like, as I said before, try not to split the difference here. Because the thing is, you, can all, you can't put skin back that easily. You can, mm -hmm. you can always take more away if you feel like, okay, that I still think that there's like loose skin there. But I, I would be extremely surprised if you have like a bag there. You know what I mean? Like a hanging down. Like that's not going to happen. You're too young for that to happen. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's good. Okay. Do that. What he what I want to do is have a nice compression on him. Um, and uh, and because uh, because the, there's a little swelling right there, just because I put a lot of numbing right under there, and so that that'll help to. Um, keep that flat when he takes the bandage off. He'll be able to see it tomorrow. I'll be happy with that then. You okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a little bit of skin from the side too. buzzing noise you're gonna hear. I think should be sharp or uncomfortable. My car right here? Yeah. Stops just little baby blood vessels. Also if there's any kind of cyst sac like minuscule that we can't see, it'll it'll like get rid of it, you know, it'll buzz it too. Sounds like barbecue. It feels? It smells like barbecue. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know about what kind of barbecue you're eating, but it doesn't smell like barbecue to me. It doesn't make me hungry or anything. But yes, yeah, something is burning. Okay, I like it. So there's stitches that go underneath, mm. and there's stitches that um, go on the surface that I... The stitches on the surface, I want to see you back. I would actually like to see you back in a week to take the stitches out. Would mm -hmm. that be okay? Mm -hmm. I want to see my, my own work here. Make sure everything's looking good. Dab again for me, please. Thank you. Look at that. She sounds like she's just having a little party out there where somebody else mm -hmm. is working for her, huh? Hold it on it while I'm, you know, while I'm yeah, being eased up. Out of there. Dab again one time. Extend 
this a little bit because it's pinch. Did mm. you feel pinch? Oh. You're psyching me out. Something I feel something in my eye. Oh, I might have been leaning against your eye. You want, to, want me to drop your eye? Keep your eye closed. You like this kid, I'm sure. You, your parents were like, don't do that, and you did it because they said not to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. You're like, now you want to open your eye back kind of thing. Don't open your eye. Let, let, let me rub it a little bit, see if that helps you a little bit. Does that help you a little bit? No, it's oh, not. That it, eye? it feels like it's, it's okay. Oh, okay, you okay? Oh, yeah, it just feels right, like well, maybe some... A nerve, or, I don't know, just something okay. tingling. Okay. Still? Maybe because you're holding it so tense that um, sometimes, you know, like then it feels like your eyes mm -hmm. quivering here. Hold on, I'm almost done. I'm so close now. So, I need to see what's going on. If I need to take a little extra skin here, so. Two ends pushing down. I like get myself all the way in the corner. Make sure that there's no spare space in there. Free space in there. So on this side there, when I want it to ease that, I want you to just push your, push down your finger with that one finger, just push, push right there where that space is, because I want it to ooze a little. I'm going to make sure in case there's something oozing there. It's like 15 or something like that for you. Nicole, stop it and start it now so they don't have like big chunks of video. Okay. between them, just push on it. Okay. 
Especially if you have friends up here, huh? You have people that you know that are living in this area? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been up here before? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Well, you were here, I mean, you visited us before too, but you know this area a little bit. Mm -hmm. 